So today's project consists of taking every single one of these stickers off of every single plate in this gym. J Joe's gonna start on it here, he's packing orders right now. I gotta go home. My bed is finally getting delivered, so finally I have a bed. My back, it's, I think I've held off on getting a bed because my back felt so good for some reason from that couch. So I used to have back problems a little bit when I was in like high school and stuff like that. Lately, knock on wood, I have not had a single back problem from lifting, from anything, no tightness or anything like that. So that's probably why I held off on getting to bed for a while. That couch is just comfy for some reason, but finally coming, so I gotta go set that up while he does this. So we've got the bed frame right here. Still gotta put it together, and then once my bed gets here, everything's good to go. This is an Ikea bed frame. Ikea is just, the prices are cheap, but the stuff just a pain in the ass to put together. This frame's not bad, but there's a dresser out there that's gonna take me like a whole day. And I'm not the most handyman. People know that around here. Oh, we know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I almost got an Ikea bed too, and that was probably the sketchiest thing. No wonder it was $300, because when I went to get it on the rack, it was completely rolled up. It looks like it looked like an air mattress. You had to like blow it up. So I just got my mattress at a place across the street. Should be showing up here soon. Bed frame's been done for like four or five hours, but my bed hasn't been delivered. It's 4.30 right now in the afternoon. They said it would probably be in the morning between nine and 12. They're killing me right now. I feel like there's been, there's so many times the last week where we've been like getting services, like those lights the other day, which took the entire day getting cable right now, which is taking the whole day. I'm just like stuck in one place. So I'm just gonna leave this here. Joe got home. He's gonna wait for my bed to get here. I'm gonna go to the gym and we're gonna do a shoulder workout. Uh, look what we got back. It is, actually, I don't know. I believe we got back the drone. Yep, it is the drone. Looking brand new. Man, they do good work. That literally looks brand new. Cause that was all like roughed up with like grass stains and stuff like that too. So well worth it. $183 later, that thing's gonna be working brand new again. I'm gonna feel a little hesitant to start flying it again, but I know next one I'm gonna wanna fly it soon. So we're definitely gonna take it out at the latest this weekend. You already left today? I did legs. You did legs? Yeah, Joe's been taking off all the stickers. Yeah, you That's it sucks. <laughs> took them off pretty good. Joe's been doing good work. You know, even though it sucked waiting around all day today, I don't want to say that I, I didn't miss this job, but Joe was doing this for like eight hours, just taking off the stickers, and they didn't come off like easily either. I don't even think he finished all of them. We still have all the ones to do on the squat rack, so I'll probably finish those tonight. Oh, they come off pretty easy. So shoulder warm up every single time. I go through different variations, but usually I'll start with these. I'll go up and back down. That's one. I'll do like 15 with five pound weight. For this, it's not about weight at all. It's just warming up the joints. This is why I never have shoulder issues, knock on wood. But I always warm them up really good, especially if I'm doing heavy presses or anything. I also do some light side laterals, but Especially with shoulders, like I have to warm them up for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Because if you get a shoulder injury, like I know Nick had one a couple years ago, I mean, it can be a pain. It can, you can have it lagging for a year. So all about staying healthy. So last set of the first exercise, starting out with side delts today. Having some elbow issues, just like a little pain lately. So you're gonna stay away from a lot of heavy presses today. So, one crazy thing about when I start to diet, every time I diet, I learn something new about my body. Two times ago that I started dieting, I started lower, which I am doing now, 2,700 calories. Last time I started like 3,400 calories, it was too much, but this time, when I do this and I'm aggressive in the beginning, I get like this. Right when I start dieting the first four or five weeks, my strength goes up. I, have, I feel good all the time. I don't know why, I can't really explain it. I don't know if it's because I cleaned up my diet or what, but last week I've just felt great. Last couple days my strength's been going up still. So 
Sounds like you need some cardio. Yeah, cardio is gonna start. <sighs> cardio too. When I get leaner, like I don't even need to do cardio. I can run more, so I'm lighter in body weight. But just cleaning up that diet. Second exercise, gonna do a press. This is one of my favorite, Arnold standing press, because you don't have to do a ton of weight, but just get a great burn up from it. Full range of motion. By far, for rear delts, rear delts, a lot of people have different exercises and their favorites. This is my one, but this is probably the one that I see done wrong the most often. Like people will go down here and flare kind of their arms out like this. They'll hit their back and other things. Here, I just think of really just like driving my elbow back, elbows back, keeping my back in a fixed position. Not completely 90 degrees, but a little bit up. I don't even need a lot of weight. It's just a crazy burn for 15 reps. <sighs> Woo! Gonna, oh, gonna fit. Finish up with some accessory work, probably two or three more exercises. And we're gonna fly the drone. A okay, rain check on the drone, because we're gonna finish taking these stickers off these plates. Joe's been slaving away at these since like 7.30 this morning. We're almost done. He's got a little razor. He has a good like plan of attack on this, but besides the 45 pound weights, all the other ones, they're just like a pain in the ass to take off. So we're gonna get this done because we're either getting endo pump in tomorrow or Wednesday. So once that ha happens and we get that in, we are gonna be so crazy busy, just nonstop packing because people have been asking about it for weeks now. And when something like that happens and we get a new product in or we get something back in stock, things just go hectic and I can't film any videos, so gotta get this done tonight. There she is. We finally, we finally have a bed. Oh. After five Months, I think it's been five months, came down here early August, been sleeping on the couch ever since. Actually, last night was the first time I probably had a little bit of some back problems. So, perfect timing. Got the big queen. This feels awesome. I'm gonna get the greatest sleep now. Alarm was set for 6.45 this morning. Never woke up, not even close. I did not hear it. Deep sleep last night. That was the best sleep I've gotten in since I've gotten down here. I just couldn't stop so one time occurrence this isn't gonna happen again it's like 10 a.m right now showing up to the gym now so feeling refreshed feeling good joe's in there already getting orders that's why it's good to have someone here working with us but i'll just work late tonight you know that's the great thing about having your own business being able to work whenever you want and wanting to work whenever you want so i'm gonna hit some legs feeling great so we're gonna start out with some squats we got joe still going strong baby almost there Almost there. He's got 35s left. Looking nice and clean though. Don't want to show a full workout or anything like that, but I'm just going to show my last set of this squat workout now. When we pretty much all start working out, the thing you always hear is doing sets of 10, three sets of 10, four sets of 10. That's what I did too. That's what I always used to do for squats. Now, if I think anything about sets of 10 for squats, I just like cringe. Like anything over six, I never want to do. But today I'm doing five sets of 10. Pushing myself, I feel good. Got a lot of good sleep last night, so this is my last set right here. We're doing 375. Gonna hit 10 right here for my last set. And I am in desperate need of a new belt. Had this for about eight years now. Two more. Finished up with the rest of that workout. It's Tuesdays right now, which on Tuesday, Pizza Rev, my favorite place to go when I'm bulking. Haven't gone when I'm cutting yet, but $6 pies on Tuesday, which it's kind of like the Chipotle concept where you go through, put what toppings you want on it. I'm gonna go check it out. See if I can find some healthy options because they do have some healthy things like grilled chicken, onions, vegetables, so we'll see what we can get. So this is what I just picked up. We got a thin crust pizza. Red sauce, regular mozzarella cheese with red onion, sun-dried tomato, pineapple, Canadian bacon, and grilled chicken. A little messed up, but it's going to taste good. And this has been the easiest and simplest restaurant I've been to to calculate my macros online. They had to have a nutrition calculator, just put all my stuff in, 
took less than a minute. It probably took a minute. Total macros, 22 fat, 70 carb, 36 protein. And that's with the full fat cheese. Could have got reduced fat, so it would have lowered it a little bit. But that's pretty good still, 610 calories. I'll take it any day. It might be a little bit more than that, but I got a little bit, bit of wiggle room since, you know, I did start calories out pretty low. But I'm going to eat this, call this a video, and I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you in the next one.